Justice D.Y. Chandrachur is set to become the 50th Chief Justice of India. CGI UU Lalith handed over a letter recommending Justice Chandrachur as a successor on Tuesday. He is the second most senior judge of the Supreme Court. If appointed as the next CJI as per the Convention of Seniority, he will have a tenure of two years until November 10, 2024. Who is Justice Chandrachur? His father, Y.V. Chandrachur, too, served as the CJI and had a stint of over seven years. A law graduate from Delhi University, Justice Chandrachur went on to obtain his LLM degree and a Doctor of Judicial Science from Harvard Law School. He practiced law at the Supreme Court and the Bombay High Court and was designated a senior advocate by the Bombay High Court in June 1998. He served as additional Solicitor General from 1998 until he was appointed as a judge of the Bombay High Court on March 29, 2000. He was also Director of the Maharashtra Judicial Academy. Justice Chandrachur took over as Chief Justice of the Allahabad High Court on October 31, 2013 and was appointed a Judge of the Supreme Court on May 13, 2016. During his tenure in the Supreme Court, Justice Chandrachur penned some very important judgments. In the landmark ruling on Justice K.S. Puttaswamy and Another versus Union of India and others, a nine-judge bench that included Justice Chandrachur recognized privacy as a fundamental right. Subsequently, as part of a five-judge bench, Justice Chandrachur dealt with the constitutional validity of the Aadhaar Act 2016. While the majority upheld the Act, he held it had been passed unconstitutionally as a money bill. In his concurring judgment in the Navtej Singh Johar and Others v. Union of India case, in which the Supreme Court decriminalized Section 377 of the IPC, making same-sex relations legal, he said it was an antiquated and anachronistic colonial-era law forcing sexual minorities to live in hiding, in fear and as second-class citizens. Last month, in a significant ruling on reproductive rights, the Supreme Court bench headed by him extended the right to safe and legal abortion up to 24 weeks of pregnancy to unmarried and single women, saying it is the right of every woman to make reproductive choices without undue interference from the state. He was also part of the five-judge Supreme Court bench that decided the Ayodhya title dispute matter.